Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the shortest path algorithm in computer networks. So if you see in the data structures, it can also be called it as a Dijkstra algorithm. We have the formula right here. We don't need to remember this formula. If we go on solving the problem, we will be knowing how to solve the problem easily. Now let's start. So first process is, first we should take one router as the source router. So now let's consider A as the source router. If I consider A as the source router, I will call it as U and the nearest that is from A to B or A to G. Now I am considering from A to B. So I will consider B as the V. Now D of U. So what is the value of D? That what is the value of U? Since it is source node, its value will be equal to 0. Since it is source node, its value will be equal to 0 and all other routers or the nodes value will be equal to infinity. Because at, because at the starting, we don't know the values of all other routers or the nodes. So we assigned all of them as infinity and since we are taking the source as A, with reference to A, we are planning to find the shortest path for all of them. So, A will be considered as the source node and its distance will be equal to 0. Now, let's find the values of B and G because A is directly connected to G and A is directly connected to B. We are knowing the value of A that is 0. So, now we can find B and G value. So, if you want to find the B value first. So, A value is equal to 0 that is D of U plus cost of u comma v cost of u comma v means from cost of going from u to v that is from a to b that is 2 which must be less than d of v so the d of v is infinity because we didn't know the value of them we assigned infinity value so if you see 2 is less than infinity so we can write the value of b as 2 we will strike out infinity and now the new value of b is equal to 2. Now to find the value for g. a value is 0. It is coming from a. So a value is 0. Cost of u comma v that is from a to g it is 6 plus 6 less than infinity because we assigned infinity for g also. So 6 is less than infinity. We will write 6 for g plus. Now a is over. A router is over. We should not go to the A router again. Now, I will show in this diagram itself. You must draw step by step another diagrams. Okay. So, it will be lengthy video if I draw again and again. So, I will show in this one only. After this process, that is after one router or one node is completed, you must draw another diagram of this representation only. Now, what will happen? We now whose values we are knowing we know the value of b we know the value of g so all other are infinity and i can't go back to a now i will be considering only these two b and g among b and g whose value is less b is having 2 and g is having 6 so 2 is less than 6 now i will be considering b router i will be considering b router from b where you can go? From B you can go to C. From B you can directly go to E. You can't go back to A. Now, if I go from B to C, B cost is 2. Plus, from B to C it is 7. Less than, what is the value of C? Infinity. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is less than infinity. Yes, you can strike out infinity and write 9. Now, from B to E, from B to E, so B cost is 2 plus from B to E it is 2, 2 plus 2 less than infinity, E value is infinity, 2 plus 2 is 4, so 4 less than infinity, you can strike out infinity and write 4. Now another step is over, B router is done and you can't go back to B router and you can't go back to A router. Now whose value we are knowing, G router value is we are knowing. E router and C router. Here it is 9, 4, 6. Which router you must select? The router having the smallest value that is E. 
So if I select E router, E can't go back to B, it can go to F and it can go to G. So if it is going from E to F, E cost is equal to 4. E cost is 4, 4. E cost is 4 and E to F it is 2. 4 plus 2 less than F value is infinity. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 less than infinity. Yes, it is right. So I will strike out it and write 6. Now here, E value is 4 plus from 4 from E to G it is 1. 4 plus 1 will be 5 less than G as this value of 6. So 5 less than 6. So we can strike out 6 and write 5 as the value. Now E router is done. We can't go back to E router, B router and A router. Now we are knowing the value of C router that is 9. F router it is 6 and G router it is 5. So who is having the smallest value? G router with 5. So I will be considering G router. G router can't go back to A, can't go back to A, E. It can, it can only go to H. So from G to H, if you consider G value is 5 plus from G to H it is 4. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 less than here H value is infinity. So 9 less than infinity, you can strike out infinity and write 9. Now G router is also done. Now we are knowing value of C router that is 9, F router it is 6 and H router it is 9. So the smallest value is of F router that is 6. Let's consider 6 that is F router. If you consider F router you can go to C, you can go to H because they are not done yet. So from F to C it is F value, initial F value is 6 plus F to C it is 3. 6 plus 3 is 9 less than 9. So already same only you keep as it is. Next from F to H. F value is 6 plus F to H is 2. Less than F initial value is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 less than 9. Yes, you can strike out 9 and update the value as 8. Now this F router is done. Only C router, H router and D router are left for us. C router value is 9. D router value is infinity, H router value is 8. So among these three, H is having the smallest number. So I will be considering the H router. From H router, you can go directly to D. You can't go back to F because it is already done. From H to D, if you consider H value is 8 plus from H to D, it is 2. So 8 plus 2 will be 10 less than D value is infinity. Therefore, you can strike out infinity and write a 10. Strike out infinity and write 10. Now we are having only two routers or the nodes that is C and D. C is having 9 and D is having 10. Among these two, which is the smallest? 9 is the smallest. So I will be considering this one. From C, I can go to D. C value is 9 plus cost is 3. From C to D, cost is 3 less than 10. 9 plus 3 is 12 less than 10. Whether this is correct? No, it is not correct. What I will do? I will leave the value as it is. Since, since it is the only node, it will be 10 itself. Now we completed all the routers or the, all the nodes. Now we got the shortest path for all of them from the source. Shortest path for all of them from the source. If I want to move from A to B, my shortest distance will be 2. If I want to move from a to E, my shortest distance will be 4. From A to G, from A to G it will be 5. From A to C, it will be 9. From A to F, it will be 6. From A to D, it will be 10. From A to H, it will, it will be 8. Like this, we have found the shortest path from the source to all other routers or the node. Hope you understood the concept of the shortest path algorithm or the digester algorithm which will be used in the computer network. If you have any doubt, please comment below and support us for more engineering related topics. Thank you.